In this video, we demonstrate our latest prototype application supporting Cyber Affordance Visualization in Augmented Reality, or Caviar. The Caviar prototype explores the use of augmented reality to visualize cyber affordances, which we define as a potential action created by the intersection of objects in the supervisory, cyber persona, logical, and physical planes of cyberspace with the soldier's immediate geographic surroundings. For example, in this notional scene, a soldier on a reconnaissance mission views a storefront, upper right, that is augmented using her head-worn display to show information, lower right, about an open wireless access point, potential vulnerabilities in alarms and communication systems, and a passerby with a known cyber profile. This update shows our latest Caviar application, which we implemented using a Microsoft HoloLens. The application is used to rapidly prototype candidate visualizations for cyber affordances, such as those shown here in this notional bomb maker lab. A soldier wearing our prototype is able to view the cyber affordances in the lab. They can use the HoloLens clicker to select a specific cyber affordance, such as this Wi-Fi router. The information shown on each affordance is configurable and could be linked to sensor and intelligence data feeds to meet mission needs. For example, here, a soldier selects the affordance for a bomb maker laptop and can view the mission objective at the top of the screen, information about how to bypass the laptop login to the right of the screen, and upstream network topology in the lower left inset. Other potential use cases include displaying information on a potential USB attack vector, social media information associated with a particular device ID, and field expedient document exploitation used to recognize key terms of interest. Our Caviar prototype provides functionality to quickly author scenarios to experiment with candidate visualizations. The user is able to drop placeholder markers on potential cyber affordances in the environment. As these are created, their location is saved relative to the physical world, and information about these potential affordances is sent to an upstream web server for further editing and specification. The user then accesses the Caviar web server and replaces the placeholder information with details about the cyber affordance, such as meaningful name and label, the type of affordance, and the responsible military unit. The type parameter is linked to a Unity 3D model or prefab objects that will replace the yellow placeholder flag. The user can also choose from a palette of preset affordance information. When the user restarts the Caviar application and reloads the scene, the placeholders are replaced with affordance information and models specified in the Caviar server. This allows the user to try different visualizations and elicit feedback from tactical operators about which visualization best communicates the cyber affordance opportunity.